here with tutorialstop.com. Six days to Christmas. I hope you got your shopping done. What we're going to do today is take a look at the elliptical marquee tool found in your tools palette and also at some things we're going to do with our layers palette, just some masking. I'm going to go ahead and do a file open and I'm going to select two images in this case. I'm going to take earth and mouth. I went ahead and held down my control key so that I could select two at a time and I'm going to go ahead and click open and you can see here we have two images one of this nasty looking mouth and one of this uh, a picture of the earth here okay so what we're going to do is create a selection to select just the earth then we're going to move the earth over into the mouth and then use some masking tools to make it blend in a little bit better so first thing we're going to do is activate our elliptical marquee tool click and hold down on your rectangle or marquee tool if that's the active tool and choose elliptical marquee tool I'm going to come out here and you can see if I just drag it's very hard to place that elliptical marquee tool right where you want it it actually starts as if it's in a box in the upper right hand corner is how I normally start it or I'm sorry the upper left hand corner and you can see I didn't do a too good too well of a job here in selecting the earth so I'm going to do a control D to deselect that I'm going to come back over and here's a secret tip I'm going to go ahead and drag this out, but I'm not going to let go of my mouse. I'm going to hold down my space bar. See how the space bar lets me kind of move that elliptical marquee around? So I'm going to move it into place, and then I can drag it out a little bit, kind of hold down my space bar again, move it into place. So I'm using a combination of dragging and space bar clicking. So again, never let go of your mouse until it's exactly where you want it. So I am going to leave it about right there on that edge and let go of my space bar, drag this over a little bit. You can see I need to go up with it, space bar, drag up, drag down, space bar, drag up a little bit, let go, drag over, and then I'm done. You can see I made a nice selection using a combination of the space bar and dragging. Now I can move this over. And it's very important that you now switch to your move tool. So I'm going to click on my move tool, or you can click the V key as a shortcut. I'm going to come over here and you see this little pair of scissors. I'm going to click and hold down and drag it right over here. When you see the plus sign, you can let go. You can see I've just placed the earth in this man's mouth. It doesn't look like a very good place to be. So over here in my layers palette, you can see that it created a new layer with that earth. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to type in earth and hit enter. Okay, just to rename that layer. Now what I'm going to do is uh, this earth over here, I'm going to move it up, but I want it to appear as if it's behind the teeth. Behind the teeth. So how can I do that? Well, I'm going to use, um, there's, I mean, there's all kinds of methods you could do this, but I'm going to duplicate a piece of the teeth place it above the earth so the earth is sandwiched between some teeth in the background layer and then use a mask so let's go ahead and see how to do that first thing I'm gonna do is get on the background layer the layer that contains the mouth I'm gonna come over here and activate my rectangular marquee tool and I'm just going to drag out a rectangle around the teeth area and that should do it so it creates a selection now I'm gonna create a new layer from that selection I'm gonna go up to layer new new layer via copy and you can see here is the new layer so I have earth layer background I'm gonna double click that new layer and name it teeth and then I'm gonna take this teeth layer and drag it up above the earth there we go so now we have teeth earth background I'm gonna click on the earth layer get my move tool and you can see what happens kinda weird see how that sandwich between there I'm gonna drag it back down right in here now the problem is with this is that this black stuff is covering up the earth and we do not want that so I'm gonna come up to the teeth layer now I'm gonna add a layer mask I'm gonna come down here and click this little layer mask icon add layer mask you can see it's created this layer mask right next to uh, the mouth or the teeth layer and how this uh, works is anything in white will um, will hide uh, or anything in white will display that layer so because the whole layer is in white it's displaying everything that's on that layer now if I paint in black that's going to pop 
hop through to the next layer. Let's go ahead and demo this so you see what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and click on this mask to activate the mask. I'm going to come over here to get my brush tool. Once my brush tool is selected, you can see that uh, all we're going to do is use black and white. I want a nice hard brush. So in your brushes palette, a hard brush would be one with this nice hard edge here. I'm going to double click that. Oh, that's too small, so I'm going to use my bracket key on my keyboard to make this bigger. You can see each click with the bracket key, the right bracket key, the brush gets bigger or it gets smaller. Um, so the left bracket key makes it smaller, the right bracket key makes it bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click. Now, you see how I clicked and nothing happened? That's because white is the top layer. And if I paint white on white, of course, nothing happens. But if I switch over to black by either clicking this little toggle here, you can see now black's the foreground color. And if I click, notice up here in my mask where I clicked, it created this black spot where I can see straight through um, this teeth layer into the earth layer. So I can click a few times. Of course, I'm going to want to zoom in. I'm going to click the zoom tool and just drag a rectangle around the teeth area. And you can see that there's that black area. So I'm going to get my paintbrush tool, use my bracket key, my left bracket key, to make this a little bit smaller. I'm just going to paint. Oh, that's looking good. Paint over this region. I think I'm going to get my move tool. Move this back up so you can still see I moved it up a little bit and you can still see some black around here on this top layer. So I'm going to have to get my paintbrush and paint over that as well. So paintbrush, again, make sure your mask layer is selected. Click in that. I'm going to use my left bracket key to make this a little bit smaller. You can see how quick this can go. I'm just taking out the black area. We're dragging around. The cool thing about this is, say you mess up real bad like I just did with that tooth, you just come down here and you switch back to white, you paint it back in. Pretty cool. So that's why I like using masks. It doesn't hurt uh, any of the information in that layer. I'm going to go ahead and hit my X key. The X, by the way, is a shortcut. Notice how it toggles the foreground and background color. So each time you hit the X, it'll either move the current foreground color to the background color or vice versa. So. Let's paint a little bit more away here. We're almost done. It's looking good. And again, if you mess up, oops, you just switch it by hitting your X, paint it back in. Very nice. Hit X again. And you could actually zoom in there and really take your time at this, but I think you're getting the point. I'm going to double click this and hold down my, I'm going to get my zoom tool. I double click that by the way because whenever you double click the zoom tool it takes you exactly to 100%. Um, I'm going to come out here and hold down my alt key. Click that a few times. You can see now I've created this cool effect where the world appears like it's actually in the mouth using a mask tool. Pretty neat. So the masks work great. And remember on a mask you're painting either in black and white and you can quickly toggle between the two by hitting your X key. Again, this is Scott with TutorialStop.com.